So I'm sorry it took so long for me to get this um, Whip It Up Wednesday. It's 9.30 at night, so I apologize if you guys are getting notifications and you're trying to go to bed and you got to go to work tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make this one quick because I had a couple uh, video difficulties. I actually shot the entire prep for this meal um, this morning, and I think I had posted about that. And I was trying to hang it, but the video size is too large, and then I tried to put it on YouTube, and the video is too long, and then I was like, well... I could try to work on it tomorrow, but I wasn't sure if that was going to work. So, um, here I am. For those of you that don't know, I'm Courtney Barnett. I am a Pampered Chef consultant. And my goal for Whip It Up Wednesday is just to show you a really quick, um, easy dinner to make um, on a weekday night. So, Wednesday night, it's hump day. We only have a couple more days left in the week for uh, those of us who work Monday through Fridays, which isn't always my schedule, but it is right now. Uh, I want to say hi to Lee and Eric. Thanks for stopping in. Um, so tonight, well actually it was this morning, I prepped a Kahlua pork. Um, the main reason why I really wanted to do this is though I say that we try to do this fast, um, I actually have a new product that allows you to have, um, to use your rock crock another different way. So I'm going to see if I can show you guys this. Hey Brent, long time no see girl, dude. All right. So, I apologize in advance because um, my kitchen's an absolute mess, which is why you have this picture behind me now, because I really don't want you guys to see the rest of this. It's kind of atrocious. All right, so here is our new product. It is the Rock Croc Slow Cooker Stand. So, our Rock Croc is, this is the Dutch Oven Rock Croc. It's a four-quart Rock Croc. Uh, it's a glazed ceramic. Uh, holds in the heat really well. And for those of you that have seen me, I've done the casserole size, which is two quart. I've done the um, everyday pan, which is two and a half quarts. And then this is my newest one, and it's a four quart, so I had to use it today. Um, but the actual new thing is the slow cooker stand. So this is going to be a little interesting because I don't have it set up properly. But a um, couple things to note here, if this is even coming in the right way. Um, with the slow cooker stand, it is a new product for Pampered Chef to go electric. Boogie, 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 boogie. Just kidding. Um, so you got low, high, and warm settings. It does not have a timer. So um, a little trick that I thought of is for those of you that like to put your Christmas lights on timers, um, all you got to do is plug this cord right into your Christmas light timing system, and voila you now have a timer for your crock pot. So, um, I did have a challenge for anybody who is watching. If you upload a video of saying rock, crock, crop, see, I messed it up. Rock, crock, crop, rock, crock, crock pot. There we go. I want you to say that five times fast. If you say that five times fast, I will send you a prize in the mail. So all you have to do is upload a video of you trying to say those four words in a combination without messing up five times in a row because obviously I can't do it once so hopefully you guys can come out and have a little bit of fun with this but this is our rock crock and this is our slow cooker stand the Dutch oven rock crock sells for $139 and the slow cooker stand sells for 60 so combined that would be $199 but actually Pierre Chef has put it together as a set and the set is $169 Cool thing, if you host a show with me in March, you get um, and your host or your show qualifies, which means two hundred dollars in guest orders, which with some of our new items is pretty easy to get as long as your hosts like cooking as much as I do. Or I'm sorry, your guests like cooking as much as I do. Um, so if you get that, if you meet the two hundred dollars, you get one fifty percent off item. If you put it onto this set, this set now goes down in half from the one sixty nine to roughly eighty. $5. So for $85, you get a $139 um, four quart rock crock and you get the slow cooker base. Here's the cool things about the rock crock again. If you haven't heard or seen any of my other Whip It Up Wednesdays, as you can tell, I love using it. Um, it goes in the microwave, it goes on the stovetop, it goes under the broiler, it goes in the oven, it goes in my little um, small oven. May or may not catch my kitchen on fire every once in a while. It goes out on the grill, and it goes in the dishwasher. And here's proof, and I apologize in advance, because I have a really sloppy kitchen. I'll show you guys this already. So, that, let's see, that right there is my everyday pan. So, like I said, 
goes in the dishwasher, goes everywhere we want it to go. Anyhow, that is one of our main ones. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Carmen. Um, the other new kitchen gadget that I really want to show off today is our multi-blade grater slicer. So, um, for those of you that watched my uh, Whip It Up Wednesday a couple weeks back, I used the manual food processor, and then I brought out my big lug of a um, food processor that's my electric one, right? And I'll show that real quick because it's not too messy down there. It's a little bit crazy. So, there's my big lug of one. Uh, for those of you that don't know, these come with blades, and you can put the blade in there, and then you just gotta lug this whole thing out. It's really hard to clean because it's got like 15,000 pieces. To get the blades on, it's got this really small piece that I lose all the time, so as you guys can see in this cabinet area, it's a little bit crazy. <laughs> so, what did Pampered Chef come up with as a solution? They came up with this small little gadget. It's got a little sheet on top, and it's got the blades. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. So this is how it comes in the mail. It's got the handle, sorry, this is how it comes in the mail. And all I have to do is throw the handle on and put the blades in. So it comes with four blades. Um, sorry, these are a little bit used because like I said, I was cooking earlier. So it's got the slicer blade and this is just a traditional slice. Um, it's got a cheese grater blade or if you wanna make carrot cakes, this is a great way to shred up your carrots real fast. And as you can tell, this is still kind of new. So this is the micro grater. So this is hard cheeses. If you want shaved chocolate, that's not another nice little fancy. If you want to do kind of a fancy dusting of chocolate, you can do that. And then this last one, let's see if we can, there we go. You see those teeth right there? So this is actually an ice chipper. Um, so if you want to make a slushy or if you want to make like a fancy peach bellini and you want to act like you're in the tropics, you can actually um, or shred up your ice using that blade. So this is really easy to use. Let's see if I can get this back far enough so you guys can see. Sorry. I'm probably gonna cut my head off again, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. So basically what you do is you line up um, your bowl, so this is our mixing bowl set. It's our glass mixing bowl set. And I throw that under here. This has a nice little lock. So this is a suction bottom. You want to make sure your counters are nice and clean, which, again, if you watch my Whip It Up Wednesdays, mine aren't always the cleanest. And you're going to press kind of centrally in there, and you're going to lock it down. Once it's locked down, whoop, see? Once it's locked down, it doesn't really budge. So it's got a nice little grip onto the counter. So you're going to put your bowl underneath there. You're going to feed the food into the chute. Oh, you know what? You have to put the blade in because I forgot to put the blade in. Um, I did want to show you guys, this can actually be operated one hand. So over here underneath the handle, there's a little latch. So you're going to pull down on the latch and then you're just going to push with your thumb and it releases it. So those of you that got little kids and you got a kid on the hip or you got your phone, you can kind of do this practically one hand. The one time that you can't, that you need both of your hands is going to be um, when you actually have to get the food in the chute, and I'll show you why. So the blade is in there. It's got a nice little um, spring to it. I'm going to get this set in here, and I want to make sure that I get all the sides together. And if I had the screen over here, so if I ever get that video uploaded, I, I do a good job of saving this. Um, but there's two little arrows here. You turn it slightly, you heard that little click, and then I've got my handle. So I've got the food pusher, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of cabbage, and I am going to shred the cabbage. So I'm just going to hold it with a food slicer, and again, if, if you don't have this hand available, if you've got a kid on the hip, you can just tell them to put their hand down, and they can just help mom or dad shred up this. Oh. And every once in a while, if you don't have your um, pressure on it properly, then it is going to come loose. So cabbage is one of those that's a little bit more difficult. So if I had strawberries in here, you'd see how quick it was coming out. But there we go. So there's the cabbage, and it's got this nice little shredded consistency. So we've got cabbage, we've got pork. Um, it's a pork butt or a pork shoulder, and that is in the rock crop. So I've already done all of that. Unfortunately, I had to do the prep before. I've got to release this so I can move it out of my way. Um, 
So what you do with the pork butt is you stab it with a fork a lot of times. You put about a tablespoon, probably no more than that, of hickory um, or of any kind of liquid smoke. So I use this hickory smoke um, seasoning. You don't want to do more than that though because you, you want that smoky flavor but you don't want it to taste too artificial. Um, put that in the rock crock, put it on low. The recipe calls for 12 to 16 hours. I'll be honest, you want to be more towards the 12th side of things when it comes to the rock crock um, because it retains heat very, very well. So unlike a normal rock, uh, crock pot, um, those kind of, depending on the thickness and thinness of the, the ceramic insert to the, rock, or to the crock pot, um, they can kind of dissipate heat a little bit more. So though this isn't fully covered, I promise you, this is hot up here. So it doesn't actually, so the uh, transfer of heat is very well done. Cool thing about the um, rock crock lids is though this is very warm, I can handle the lid very easily and I just put hot water all over the place. All right, so I am now going to zoom in on the food because that's why we're all here, right? All righty, so Kahlua pork is basically just pork shoulder, pork butt, some um, artificial smoke because for those of you that don't know, I was born in Hawaii and I lived there for about four years and one of my favorite foods there is Kahlua pork. So as soon as we got the slow cooker stand, I was like, hey, I've got to try this Kahlua pork, right? Um, so I went and asked one of my friends who's still out there, I said, all right, I, I can't make an umi, which is an underground fire pit. I don't have banana leaves, so it's kind of hard for me to make real Kahlua pork. So she passed me this recipe. So again, we've got um, all the pork has been shredded. That happened at about the eight to nine hour mark. Um, and then you can barely tell, but this is the cabbage. So it's nice and mixed in. There we go. There's a good piece. So there's the cabbage, nice and mixed in, and you can see the nice golden brown color, and that's kind of the liquid smoke flavoring that's in there. That's it. Salt, pepper, liquid smoke, pork butt. Put it in there for eight to 10 hours. I know I said uh, 12 to 16, but it's really eight to 10 uh, to start with. Then you wanna add the cabbage in there. Um, using the multi-blade grater, grater slicer, the cabbage comes out into that perfect consistency, mixes right in. You put the lid back on there, wait another two to three hours, taste it, see if you like it. If you love it, eat it. If you don't, well, make somebody else eat it, but I love it, so I'll be eating this up. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I said in my last video that my plan was when I got done with my meeting tonight, I was gonna come home and I was gonna make some rice and I was gonna put the Kahlua pork on the, uh, on the rice because that's my favorite way to eat it, but here's the reality. Yeah, I'm a chef, but I'm definitely eating some Taco Bell tonight. So, thank you guys for joining me. I know it's late. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in for Whip It Up Wednesday. And if you have any questions or anything like that, please don't hesitate to ask those questions. We've got some great deals going on for hosting parties. I can host on virtual. We can do a cooking show in your house if you live in the Tucson um, or really anywhere in Arizona. I'll drive. It's a lot more fun. So, let me know if you have any questions. We'll talk to you soon.